Hi, I'm Lee Richardson reporting you for Channel 5 and today we're in Perth for the Scottish Local TV Forum 2011. Local TV is a big debate just now within the TV industry and today we're going to catch up with some of the delegates to get their opinion on where the future of local TV may lie. Well, we're hoping that by 2015, which is the time of the next uh, Westminster election, yeah. we'll have progressed pretty far down this road. And the expectation is by probably by 2013, two years from now, to get uh, the first tranche of uh, uh, between 10 and 20 local TV stations across the country up and running. Um, eventually, we want to see more than 80 across the UK, 16 of which would be in Scotland. But that's going to be dependent on uh, the technology being in place uh, with internet protocol to make sure they have a broad enough reach. Um, so I'm pretty confident that we can, by 2015, demonstrate that local TV is working, is commercially viable. So even if there is a change of government, you know, whoever comes in is prepared to carry on with it. Part of the problem with the model at the moment is there is not sufficient competition to the BBC. ITV are suggesting they cannot continue to provide the, the quality of news and current affairs that they, that, that they presently do. And with the ITV franchises coming up for renewal, that's likely to go. We don't want to see um, the BBC as a monopoly provider, even, even though it, you know, it tends to be good and fair, because people need to have choice. And it's right that people have that choice, not on a national basis, but in, at a local level. So within their own community, they can access information about what's going on, local news, um, local activities, local sports, and also things about local culture and events. Dave, you've been like a pioneer for local television for many years now. Where, where are we with this now and how much longer till local TV is possible? Well, up until about a year and a half ago, it looked as if it was very moving in a very positive direction, that the main thrust to local television was going to be public service, holding local councils to account, providing local content, giving a sense of identity to local communities. What has happened in the last um, six months, though, is a slightly worrying sign that commercial sustainability has been added in as a criteria, and therefore it looks as if, unless we can shift the balance, it will mean largely uh, big metropolitan areas, and if one was being cynical, one would say that we were seeing a dress rehearsal for the removal of ITV's regional news and its replacement with a cheap and cheerful local version modelled on something like a Birmingham service or a Manchester service run across Leeds and Glasgow and so on. So I think the, the key thing that we have to do in Scotland is to get the common cause with the Scottish Digital Network, which we have, with the Scottish Government, I think, which we have, and with the Parliament in Scotland, to say that this isn't good enough for Scotland. Scotland's a different place. We've built our local television modelling from the local area upwards, and each area is different. And it's that distinctiveness and that difference that we want to see demonstrated in local channels all across Scotland. So the sustaining service, the national network, which we have to submit plans for by the 1st of March, has to be something that sits in the background, doesn't dominate, doesn't require a large amount of advertising revenue, and therefore doesn't eat up all the commercial opportunities that we would rather see the local services uh, take up. We're at a very interesting stage because for the first time in a long time, I, I think there is definitely an impetus from uh, the UK government through the DCMS to have local television uh, around the UK, including in Scotland. The task for this year, I think, is to try and influence uh, uh, government DCMS to make sure that Scotland gets the kind of local television that it wants uh, and that we're not, if you like, uh, uh, locked into a model which may work uh, in other parts of the UK but may not be right for Scotland. So I think the key thing is it's good that there is now this uh, political drive um, and we just need to make sure that the framework that we eventually end up with is one that works for this part of the country. I think to get the right kind of scale and impact, you have to be broadcasting at this stage. Now, at some point, um, I think that, that what's called internet protocol television, television over, over um, internet uh, uh, delivery, will be the dominant system of distribution into people's television sets in the living room. But we're going to take a number of years before we get to that point. And I think for as far ahead as it's sensible to look, probably for the next 10 years, then you, to get the kind of scale and impact and make sure that everyone is, is able to see the stuff you're making, um, I think you do need to be on, uh, on broadcast delivery as well. So uh, I, I would say a combination of, of, of uh, free view, digital terrestrial broadcasting and broadband is probably going to give the right kind of impact and scale. Why do you think newspapers' future is online television, not online print? Well, I think that for local newspapers as an industry, um, local television is a part of the mix along with um, websites, along with social media, as well as the print product. I think it's all about giving consumers local information through whichever channel of communication suits their needs. So for local newspapers, moving into local television as a partner makes an awful lot of sense because Print will remain an important part of people's lives for many years, but you've got to be thinking about the next step. 
Where, where do you see it going then, local television? How do you want to get involved with it? Is it on broadband, broadcast? Well, I think for local newspapers, r really, um, just being at the table is the key thing. Um, I don't think that local newspapers are going to be actually shaping the technical development and delivery of the service, but I do think what um, the industry will do is be able to apply its expertise in terms of journalism, sales, um, commercial development and local contacts and trust um, to whatever channels are the, are the most um, relevant to that particular marketplace because at the end of the day it comes down to playing to your strengths. A local newspaper strengths isn't being a broadcaster, it's about local brand, local relationships and I think that's what local newspapers bring to the party. Well from what we've seen today we can see there's a lot of enthusiasm for local television from a lot of media industries but it's a long way off inception. This has been Lee Richardson for Channel 5.